Critical emergency preparedness and crisis response training is being provided to teachers and staff across Tucson. And joins us now with more. Good evening, Shelley. Well, Sean, teachers and school administrators are getting ready for the upcoming school year. They're working with the Pima County Sheriff's Department, learning how to respond and deal with emergency situations like active shooters. And I just need to give you a warning. Everything you're about to see is a simulation. It's not real. These kids are just very good actors. These days, back to school means active shooter training. Unfortunately, across the nation, school violence and school shooting events are happening every so often, and we just want educators to have a plan or be prepared. Teachers and administrators at Legacy Traditional School learned how to protect themselves and their students. We teach what when, not what if. So essentially, what are you going to do when it happens versus what if it happens? Teachers were placed in four different scenarios and had to respond to the situation. And by the end, you definitely feel more empowered. Not that I wouldn't make mistakes doing it, but I, I feel like I would have more of a starting point on what to do and definitely feel more empowered now. Teachers also learned basic first aid. So essentially, we're teaching them how to survive and then how to help others also survive. Student actors also say they get a lot out of the experience. I think it applies whether you're in school or in another building. It's still the same. You know what to do, what not to do, how to assess the situation, take control, and help others. I think it's important for the safety even if these things never happen. It is sad, but it is a sign of our times, and I would rather be prepared and, again, feel like um, educated versus not educated and helpless. Now, several agencies participated in today's drill. It was just a drill uh, that included Tucson, Marana, and Oro Valley Police Departments. In Marana, Shelly Jackson, News 4, Tucson.